We propose to have this festival, inshallah, on the 28th of November, and it goes on till the 11th of December. It is through his courtesy that we will have nearly 35 artists and artisans performing in London during that period. I am directed by the governor of Sindh to publicly acknowledge this courtesy. Thank you very much. And if I'm not being a bit too cheeky, I would like to also inform our guest this evening that he has very kindly agreed to consider Mr. Mahmoud Harun's request to be in London at the time when the inauguration takes place. Again, thank you. Two outstanding Sufi poets. The king of poets, or the king of Sufis, is Malana Rum. And to us, in Sindh and Pakistan, the king of Sufi poets of this part of the world is Shah Abdul Latif Bittai. Both begin their Masnavi, Maulana's first couplet in the Masnavi, and again, Shah Abdul Latif's first couplet in the Masnavi is on the reed pipe. Both of them talk of the breath and what it gives you. It's a circle, and as we know, God first made man of clay, and into him was the soul breath by God Almighty. But then these are mundane, the two big things for us to mention here this evening. We begin this evening's recital with Pakistan's outstanding flute player, Salamat Ali, who will play for you a folk tune. Ladies and gentlemen, Salamat Ali.
that, ladies and gentlemen, was Salam Atali with the folk tune Mor Thotile. And now we have an outstanding artist of Pakistan, very unpredictable. Unpredictable to the extent that whenever he doesn't turn up, they say he's not feeling well, he's about to pop off. But Alan Fakir has this in him to come back again and again. And he's, of course, Pakistan's outstanding folk singer who gave to Sindh a totally different variation of the Wai of Shah Abdul Latif. At the shrine of Shah Abdul Latif for the last 250 years, his disciples recite the Shah Jurisalo after the sunset or after the night prayers. And it goes on till early hours of the morning, when after the Azan, they sing or they recite the Sunni, which is taken to be a prayer. But tonight, Alan Fakir, with the other Fakirs of Sindh, are going to sing for you the Wai of Shah Abdul Latif. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a big hand. Alan Fakir.
that was Alan Fakir and his friends reciting for you the Allah Hu Wai of Shah Abdul Latif. We have another version of the Kafi of Shah Abdul Latif but sung in a totally different style. It is the present day variation that people have given to the Kafi of Shah Abdul Latif and we have a young pretty looking artist. She was first introduced by the Department of Culture during the folk festival that we had three years back and her name is Pariwash which means angel faced and she is an angel faced little daughter of a friend of ours who uh, has been very kind to bring her here this evening ladies and gentlemen let me request Pariwash for her own coffee <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen have a string instrument which is called the surando and this comes to us from uh, Iran and Iraq and it's traveled to this part of the world but nowadays it is more familiar to Pakistan than to those countries from where it originated and of course Shah Latif in the Sur Surat has spoken a lot about this instrument in fact he has sung each and every part of sin he sung, sung the geography, the birds, the lakes, the mountains, the people, and he is a wide canvas of emotions. So to present before you the Surando, and before I ask him to do that, I'll repeat a couplet which I often keep repeating, the translation of which in English is, it is a story of a king who loved music, and there was one musician who was hired by one of his enemies and he kept playing in the streets. So the king called him and he asked him to play. And he said, I don't play for the king. He said, I will give you whatever you want. Money, riches, whatever. He said, no. He said, what will you play for? He said, I'll play for the king's head. And legend has it that the king gave his head after this man performed. But the couplet is, if I had more heads on my shoulders than one, I would gladly have severed all and spared none. Alas, I have but one. What a poor recompense. On the Sora, ladies and gentlemen, you have Muhammad Fakir with his Surando.
that was Mamad Fakir on the Surando. And now we have a female artist from the Third Desert. She will sing for you a Thari folk song. Ladies and gentlemen, Mai Hanjo with the Thari folk song. from the arid mountains of Sindh and Balochistan. We have an outstanding artist called Akhtar Chanal Zehri. He sings in the Bravi language and he talks to his beloved. The problem is that the person whom he loves is prepared to marry him. But her grandmother is not prepared to allow him to marry her. So he tells her that you tell your grandmother, from these mountains I'll take you to Sindh, where it has rained and it's beautiful. There are lots of grains, there's a lot of fodder, and I will have a lot of money for you. Come and join me, let both of us go. Ladies and gentlemen, he sings with his own style and in the Bravi language, he says, Dana Badana, and that is 
only Akhtar Chanal Zehri. Let me call for you Akhtar Chanal Zehri. Nashkar Salam Alaikum. خواجہ کا کہیں نونا میں فلنا کماش شہزادہ کریم آگا خان انہیں سلام پانے اور اس طرح حبت بخیرت پانے تھے اڑی اے خدی کھمبڑی باؤ کرا بجمہ بو صاف دیئے ٹھک تیس سنی اڑی اے مخلوقی نا کرا چیئے سر من امداز کانے خات چان اڑی وہ دان پا دان ہے داننا وہ دان پا دان ہے داننا
we now have the double flute which is called the Al Ghoza and to play for you the Kohari is Urs Bhatti ladies and gentlemen the Al Ghoza and Urs Bhatti I'm reminded of a couplet by Marana Rum, and uh, if I can translate it, it goes like this, that I recited a rhyme for my lover, and he laughed. And I asked him, why did you laugh? He said, do you want to contain me in this cute little rhyme of yours? I said, you've broken it. He said, it's too small. That is what the Sufis feel when they 
perform before the mur murshid. We haven't seen a form of devotional singing or recital which is called the sung. And the best today, the sung performer today, is an outstanding exponent, Saurabh Fakir. He sings a devotional prayer for the Aga Khan and all those who are here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Saurabh Fakir and his sung friends. Allah 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 Oh mere daraz teri kalam
Ladies and gentlemen, that was Sarab Fakir and his song friends. We now, ladies and gentlemen, have a dance, a folk dance from the northern areas of Pakistan, the Chitral people, the Kalash, the primitive pagan people of Pakistan. It is a religious festive dance which is simple and beautiful. And from the people of Kalash, we have this collage dance which has been adopted by the Pakistan National Council of Arts dance group. I would request their artists to dance for you the collage.
ਦਾ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਅਸਦਾ ਕੁਵਤ ਪਰਵਰਦਿਗਾਰ ਲਾ ਫਤਾ ਇਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਲਾ ਸੈਫ ਇਲਾ ਜ਼ੁਲਫਕਾਰ ਜ਼ੁਲਫਕਾਰ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਅਲੀ ਮਾਲਾ ਮਾਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮਾਲਾ ਮਾਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮਾਲਾ ਮਾਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮਾਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮਾਲਾ ਮਾ ਅਲੀ ਮਾਲਾ ਮਾਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮਾਲਾ ਮਾਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮਾਲਾ ਆ ਅਲੀ ਇਮਾਮ ਮਨਸ ਤੋ ਮਨਮ ਗੁਲਾਮ ਅਲੀ ਸੂਫੀ ਬਨੇ ਸੂਫੀ 
मन तुमको मोदा कहे जिस कौन में भी मन तुमको मोदा लह मका लह भी अली का हो असियल मुख्तसल यूं भी है और यूं भी जो काफी भी हो पैदा और शहादत पाए मस्जिद में खुदा के घर का मालिक हो बशर करती हूं गिनान पेश करती हूं you 
ਨੀਮ ਸ਼ਾਹ ਵਾਲੀ ਆਜ ਰਾਜ ਮੁਬਾਰਕ ਹੋਵੇ ਨੂਰ ਅਲ ਅਲੀ
रखियो भला झूले लालन ओ सिंधणी दा ओ सेवण दो सखी शाहबाज कलम तक दमा दम मस्त कलम
Abda Parveen, and there's a couplet which says, I once asked silence, tell me the secret of the world. And silence said, shh, let silence tell you the secret. With Abda, we have nothing better to offer. And with this, it's Khuda Hafiz. Thank you very much. May I again take the liberty of presenting our artist to His Highness Prince Karim Aga Khan.